Hello everyone, uh, in this video we are going to talk about risk analysis for setting up strength training equipment business on an online platform. So let's check it out. My name is Muhammad Azad bin Mazahar. I would like to talk about introduction and background of current issue. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the shift to online shopping, transforming it into a lasting preference for consumer. Social media platforms play a crucial role in product showcasing, expanding beyond traditional e-commerce. E-commerce platforms serve as a common center for business, handling marketing, inventory, and online sales. However, choosing the right product poses a challenge with risk associated with unique offering and competition from other sellers. Successful online businesses carefully consider customer preference, market, play, market trends, and competition when selecting and promoting products. Adaptability and strategic decision making are essential for thriving in the dynamic post COVID era or e of e commerce. Hello, Smiko. My name is Mohamed Ida Shafil, and I will be talking about the SWOT analysis for strength training equipment business. First of all, for the strength part is the strength of the online platform business lies in leveraging the growing fitness strength while enabling a wide market range, offering diverse strength training equipment and providing convenient access for customers to browse and purchase products for their homes. Next is for the weakness that we are identifying is the the weakness in the online strength training equipment business involve challenge in enjoying product quality without physical inspection. Complexities in shipping and logistics for heavy items, potential market saturation leading to intense competition and pricing pressure. And the need for the additional customer education regarding the proper use and benefits of specific equipment. Uh, the third part is the opportunities. The opportunities for the online strength training equipment business include capitalizing on the home fitness boom by catering to the demand for home gym equipment while creating recurring revenue stream and fostering customer loyalty through, through subscription model, enhancing brand visibility and attracting a broader audience through digital marketing channel and strengthening market presence by converting with fitness influencer for product endorsement. Lastly, the threat that we get from the analysis is the online strength training equipment business include the potential impact of economic downturn on customer spending for non-essential items. This associated with supply chain disruption such as manufacturing delay and shortage due to the global dependencies. Moreover, the critical importance of compliance with regulation related to the sale and safety standard of fitness equipment. Uh, and the challenge of the staying competitive amid rapid technological advances that may render certain equipment obsolete. Lastly, the necessitating continuous innovation and adaptation. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Narvin and I'll be explaining about the risk identification. Risk identification is an important phase in risk management because it serves as the foundation of identifying and resolving possible risk to an organization objective. Businesses may establish proactive mitigation strategies by carefully identifying and analyzing possible hazards. This technique entails identifying both internal and external elements that may jeopardize the attainment of organizational goal, allowing for a more thorough and proactive risk management strategy. We have taken three strategies in order to identify the risk in this project. It is through brainstorming, which collab a collaboration of group activities aimed to create a variety, variety, variety of ideas, solution, or possible risk for an outcome. For the second is a SWOT analysis, which we identify the, of the business strength, weakness, opportunities and threat that may lead to potential risk. And the last one is through documentation and data collection, which is gathering the and documenting 
pertinent data in a methodical manner in order to comprehend the context breadth and potential risk factor. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fakro Aiman bin Kori. I will explain about the qualitative analysis for our risk management related to risk register, probability and impact. This is the top 5 risk event. For the first risk event, contamination of gym equipment. The risk is very high which is 0 0.81 on a scale 0 to 1 based on studies. About 60% do not sterilize the gym equipment before and after use. The next risk event is poor indoor air quality and the risk is at 0 0.56 and based on research, CO2 is high in athletic settings. However, CO2 levels in gym reduce after 3 hours. Next is improper handling of virus which is has the risk of 0 0.49 that can resulting to virus infection. Improper use of equipment is the next risk event that has, zero, has value of 0 0.3 on scale 0 to 1. Based on studies, the emergency department in Australia reports various injuries related to treadmill, weight training and combined sports. The number 5 risk event with risk value of 0 0.25 is the lack of regulation of equipment for use. Studies show that lack of standards from manufacture of equipment pose risk to user unless there is proper maintenance and awareness. These are the other risk events, which is psychological stress, allergies and respiratory health, overcrowding and noise, vibration induced due heavy activities at gym, heat related issues with the environment and causing dehydration, location and flooring areas. Thank you, that's all from me. For the conclusion and discussion, starting an online business with your own product involves risks like fraud, copyright infringement, privacy concerns and more. Mitigating this risk requires strategies such as using VPNs for fraud pre prevention through product investigation, privacy policy, secure website development, automation to reduce error, complying with data protection regulation, customer feedback for improvement, disaster preparedness, trust warehouse partnership, and security measure against AI breach. This measure aims to enhance the overall success and security of the online business.